OMG BBG! Welcome back to another BBG Talks episode. We have more Beyblade X info for you guys. Products wise, we're gonna break it down. Yeah, so we obviously know that there is going to be a list of about 12 products or so that will be coming out in July on the big launch. Um, now we have all the details. So yeah. we can talk about each one in depth. Yeah, so again, just as a recap, these Beyblade X products, they come in three parts. We have the blade, the ratchet, and the bit. So it's actually a pretty similar release to Beyblade Burst. Like in the beginning, we had four bay types. You got still attack type, balance type, defense type, stamina type. And so BX01 is Drawn Sword 360F. So that piece there is the name of the bay, right? Drawn Sword, that's the blade. Yep, and then we have 363 is pretty much uh, how many protrusion points there are in that uh, ratchet. And then 60 is the height of the ratchet. And then F stands for flat, which is the name of the bit. So it's pretty much a new name for driver. So you can tell flat tip means that this is going to be a strong attack type, high attack power. It's interesting that they brought back the numbers specifically for like the heights and everything yeah. like that. Because like we saw in Sparking, they brought in the numbers for like 2A, 3A, all that stuff, mm -hmm. right? Um, but it was Metal Fight that used numbers the yeah, most for the like, parts, the track length and stuff. Exactly, the mi in millimeter length yeah. of the bay. So it's actually nice to see them use that system from Metal Fight. And again, these bay bays have metal as the yeah. contact points. Like, holy crap, we're back to yeah. metal. So I would say that Drawn Sword is probably the bay that we see the most in all the marketing. And all the videos, the main advertising that we see. Yeah. going to be like using this for sure. Well, main characters, uh, from what we've seen anyways, probably going to be using Hell Scythe. Yeah. yeah Hell Scythe is the balance type. but like Maybe they're a team. Yeah, a team or yeah, whatever, whatever. Like focus on tag team battles this season, it seems like. Yeah. So Drawn Sword is going to be like that main attack type. Like this is the Valkyrie, I'd say. Pretty much, right? yes. Kind of. And it's interesting that these bays are named after weapons or... I guess shield is not really a weapon, but, but some, some sort, sort of, tool, of tool, I guess, yeah, yeah for yeah. combat. Yeah, exactly. So moving on to BX02, we have Hell's Scythe 460T. So 460 is the ratchet. And yeah, as you can see here from these photos, looks like it's got four different protrusion points or like wings. Yeah. Yeah. And tapered is the bit. So this one here, Definitely looks like a balance type. It looks like it has a very small dot in the center. Yeah. They're keeping the theme of the colors, right? Eh? Because blue was kind of like the Valkyrie color and it was attack type. Yep. And then this one was like the red uh, Spriggan color and that's also balance type. Yeah. Uh, so they're keeping that theme going, I guess, to a certain degree. Yeah, they kind of are, hey? Because like in Metal Fight, Pegasus was like the blue bay. Mm -hmm. That was the attack type. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But yeah, the release schedule is pretty similar too. Pre-release is going to be June, but uh, main release July 15th. Yeah, you should be, be yeah, able to get your hands on this. Yeah, that'll be the big one for sure. So yeah, let us know what you guys think of these designs so far. I mean... Definitely simple. Like they're simple, small. Very simple. Yeah. And I can just really um, imagine people hating on it because it's so small. I have like, seen quite a bit of people actually like crapping on the designs and stuff because yeah. it just seems like it's there's so much like loss of detail. Yeah. Like not very many like stickers and stuff. You know what I mean? Like very simple looking base. Yes. But you have to remember this is just the first gen. Yeah. So think of it like season the, one. Man. Yeah. Season one or pre-release of burst space. Yeah. Uh, this is also a right spin. We forgot to mention the spin. <laughs> so oh, okay. like drawn sword yeah. is also right spin as well. I think everything is right spin that. Uh, releasing uh, the first day. Oh man, are we doing the whole like, oh, the left spins are the special ones again? It's always like, like that. Like, why not go back to like, you know, the first gen, you know, Tyson was using a left spin, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, should we not start off like that <laughs> once in a while? Like, all the first few bays is gonna be right spin? Yeah, I, mean, I guess they just designed the game as right spin being default and left spin is kind of like the special attribute where you can do special things, right? Yeah. Um, BX03, Wizard Arrow. 480B. So this is the first one that we're seeing with the 80 Yeah, so height. it's taller bay for sure. Ratchet being 480, still got four protrusion points. Looks pretty much the same as the four on the other one we just saw, but it's an 80 height, so it's a bit taller. And it has a B, uh, that stands for ball bit, is the bit is B. Yeah, so your typical ball tip, right? Just round ball tip, you can probably use this with defense types as well. BX04, fourth release, Knight Shield. Three, so three protrusion points. Also 80, it's also taller. And it comes with the N bit, which stands for needle. 
Yeah, so that, which is strange, like, this is the defense type, but then it has, like, the sharper tip on there. You would think that, like, the defense right, type would get right. the ball, usually, right? But, yeah, so, yeah, like, very true. simple designs. Not simple, but I guess the variation, there isn't very much in the beginning. Yeah, it's the beginning of the season. Yeah. There's only four bays, it's right? Only, so, so far for the ratchets, you only got three and you got four. Like, that determines the shape, and then yeah. you have the two different heights, which is 80 and 60 yeah but so they, far. you can tell they definitely designed this to be very competitive like all the parts they really thought it through it's like the variation of the parts so far just having four bays you can still make a lot of customization based on just four yeah so it's kind of cool fair and then moving on we have bx05 which is wizard arrow again but it comes with 480 and the b bit so this one here is just yeah your booster that doesn't come with a launcher and it's a recolor, recolor right yeah so I would say that if you have this version in the starter, you don't necessarily need this one. Uh, it's just a combination of all the different parts. Mm -hmm. BX06, same type of deal. You have Night Shield once again. It comes with 380, so uh, and also comes with a needle bit too. So once again, it's reused parts, just recolored. Mm -hmm. No launcher. Booster. BX07. Most of the people are probably going to buy this set, I think. It's a good starting item, yeah. right? So like starter, start dash set. This dash set comes with the string launcher immediately, or you can use that, and then has the grip launcher, which is actually a lot bigger than the previous burst generation, I feel. Yeah, like, and it looks like it flows really well together. It's even yeah. color matched. Maybe they are catering towards the older audiences. Yeah. Um, so having a bigger launcher is always nice. It's cool. Definitely, like the new uh, light launchers that they showed, yeah. they look cool. Like they look better than the old ones. Yeah. But uh, you're going to use the string launcher as soon Eventually, as you get one. Yeah. yeah. It's not a bad place to start on your Beyblade X journey, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. And the price is reasonable 5,720 yen. So it's about $60 ish Canadian. So even cheaper for the Americans out there. Mm -hmm. BX08 three on three deck sets. So this is actually getting three bays in one. Yeah, so different combinations, once again. Like if you buy the boosters, you get 460, you get 480. So I guess it really depends on how you want to approach your collection. You will see those like starter packs in the anime versus the three on three deck set. You do save a bit. Yeah. It's 40 bucks. For sure. Around 40 Canadian. Instead of buying like three starters, it's 60 Canadian. So you could save if you're being budget conscious. Mm-hmm. But BX09, Bay Battle Pass. This is pretty much the Bay Logger. So yep. no, it's not the subscription that we hoped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they really tricked us with the Battle Pass thing. Name, yeah. Yeah, but man, this one's a little steep, hey? Looks like this one's going for like 30 some dollars yeah. for the Bay Logger. I guess it Damn. makes sense. Probably like Bluetooth enabled and you got the counter and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, similar to the previous Bay Logger from Burst Generation, you can record your points and um, Yo, it knows how like how hard you rip and stuff like that. What happened to the good old days with Valkyrie Wing Cell and you got the Bay Logger included in that? Oh yeah, <laughs> and that, that was, was like a starter pack too. You got Launcher, you got Bay Logger, and the Bay. Um, and that was like 20 something dollars. Yeah. Man, times have changed. But that was not wireless, right? That one was like the OG one. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we gotta buy this one for sure because like the Bay Loggers always get sold out eventually and they become so expensive for some reason. Honestly, I just want the Bay Logger or the battle Bay Battle Pass just yeah. to accessorize my launcher setup. True. And give it a little bit of weight. True. We'll collect points, but like, man, we're not going to be able to take advantage of the points. It's I just, just want it to look sick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, BX10, same thing. Extreme Stadium by itself. If you don't want to buy the starters dash set. Looks like you get a green extreme line with this one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, it's, cool it's, yeah, it's a white stadium instead of a clear one. I kind of like the green one, but the clear is nice too. Like, Dang, yeah. you had to buy them all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, BX11, launcher grip in the black color. So this would look real nice with your BX09, Bay Battle Pass, uh, like have them together. It's going to have like a nice black design, black on black. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we're actually going to get the string launcher separate yet. Because the BX12, the final item on the list, is the 3-on-3 three -three deck case, which you guys have seen before in Beyblade Burst. It's just a plastic case to put in your few bays yeah so this is the first wave until bx01 to bx12 um but it's actually interesting that they have the three on three deck case right away in the first like wave of releases right that just goes to show that they do kind of care about this competitive aspect of using the, the deck cases to design your own team yeah and then you can battle and stuff um because i think in burst they didn't do that until later on in the series 
I find it kind of greasy almost that Takara told me included the string launcher only in the start dash set oh i did not notice that yeah that's why i was saying that you True. can't get the string launcher so like if you want a string launcher if both of us want a string launcher like we right have to now buy two of the start dash sets right like off on the july bat. 15th yeah like you would have to buy two yeah i'm sure they'll release it sometime later but but that is just true. like dude they're milking us hard though. they're like you better buy the starter dash set yeah that's the most expensive item out of everything that they're releasing so that is greasy. Word. Takara told me. <laughs> like, they always do that to hype items. Like, you know, when they release, like, a, say, Spriggan in BU, they yeah. put it into a set and all that stuff, right? And so they put the hype items in a bigger set to obviously get more revenue. So I get it. But a string launcher? Yeah. So nice. July 15th is a date where they're releasing this whole wave. Are you guys excited? Like, which one are you guys going to go for? Yeah. I know that there's like a lot of people hyped up for it, seeing the new system, but I know there's so many diehard Burst fans that are, you know, they, like they want to see more Burst. This, yeah, right? like they're not really into this just yet. So give it some time. You know, everyone needs a little bit of time to digest everything and convert over to Beyblade X life. Yes, for but sure. Rest assured though, if you're super into Burst, know that these bays still technically Burst. True. So, so you're not losing out that specific gimmick right it's the best of both worlds yeah. burst and his metal yeah so i think everyone will eventually like this um but yeah in the beginning though it's always rough start yeah it's always a rough start all right that's pretty much it for the breakdown of all the products uh we just wanted to give you guys our thoughts on them and it's interesting how they designed this whole season and this wave of products are gonna be the beginning you guys are gonna be pioneers of <laughs> beyblade x all right so we'll see you in the next one. Remember to like this video, subscribe, and as always, peace out. out.